We recently got this Craftsman lawn tractor. I'm not sure the year, but it fits a 42 inch mower deck. We also have had this sitting in the yard for a while. We need to replace that part. And it also won't fit on there. My local Princess Auto has a small one and seven eight inch trailer ball for a pretty sweet price and a new trailer coupler. So I'm gonna sketch out an adapter or a tongue that is gonna be able to attach on to there. The tractor currently has that hole, that's 5 8 That's gonna fit the three quarter inch shaft for the ball. And I thought I'd add some tie down points for rope or something. Let's get this cleaned up so that we can cut it out on the plasma cutter. There we go, all cleaned up. Okay, we picked up some real high quality. That was literally like two bucks. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. 20 for this and we needed some bolts. So I've got this loaded up in my sheet cam TNG. We're gonna program it quickly. Okay, good. The thickness of our material is quarter inch. And if I need it thicker, then I'll just cut two and we'll stack them on top of each other. Back to this, everything looks good. Press okay and it's gonna generate some tool paths for me. Hit P for program, save my file. Then we quickly open up our next program called Mach 3 Turbo. Mach 3 Loader, that's what I meant. Load the actual code into this program. Turn on the CNC plasma cutter. It should make a noise. All the things, all the things, let's go. Yeah! It shifted a little bit, but it should be okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to uh, cut through. Let's go test it out. So this is still just prototype one. Eventually two holes would be good, or this and then an L up. So we can have there, but that's okay. So there's a little bit of wiggle, but we'll sort that out. Good. Good enough for now. They will. Okay, where's our new bolts? Okay, this isn't its final form. I'll talk about that in a second. So things that I would change, I'd make that either a little bit tighter to the back here. There's about an eighth of an inch, or you know, as we call it in Canada, I don't know, three millimeters or so. Uh, I'd like to have an L piece of metal come up with a hole there as well. That would get welded to this one, and that will stop any potential wobble. But I've torqued that down pretty tight. That thing works out good. We're not gonna worry about a safety pin yet. I'm kidding, we're gonna get a safety pin for that. And the plan with this, it does have a piece of metal that can rock. 
that we have here. It's got a little hinge thing. So that way we can turn it into a dumper. But for now, just a piece of wood. So we're clearing out a bunch of stuff. Looks like my son's getting ready for beach season. And we'll probably make a basic deck out of plywood and some old pallet wood because those pieces are long enough for some cross sections. Let's see how it hauls. All right, let's see how she drives. Now, we didn't really bolt anything down. Let's see how everything just falls off. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, the trailer works. The trailer has good height. Happy with that clearance. We're gonna mod that thing, probably put some new tires on it and stuff, but that worked out. If you would like a file download of that small piece of metal I made. I'll put a DXF link in the description of this video. You can download that from my website for free. Modify it, all that stuff. I love this. Keep your kids busy. He hasn't looked at a screen or a phone all day. <laughs> 